Hi, this is Ryan again with uh, Blair Technology Group. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to fix the Windows games. Uh, Solitaire, Spider Solitaire, Free Cell, uh, occasionally with 64-bit installs of Windows 7 Home Premium. There can be an issue where you'll get an error message when you try to play a card game uh, where it says the executable for your card game has stopped working. A problem caused the program to stop working correctly. Windows will close the program and notify you if a solution is available. Unfortunately, it never does find a solution. However, we have found a workaround for this, and in this video, we're going to show you step by step uh, what you need to do to get these games working for you. First thing we'll want to do is go down to the Start menu in the bottom left hand corner. And once there, just go ahead and left click on the Start menu. And in the Start menu, we'll want to go to Computer on the right hand side and then just go ahead and left click uh, computer. Uh, now this will bring up your storage drives that you have installed on the machines, uh, including any USB drives, DVD drives, etc. We're looking for the local disk C, your main hard drive space. Once you've located that, go ahead and double click on it. Uh, it'll bring you to a uh, listing of folders. Uh, the very first thing we'll want to do is find program files here. Go ahead and double click on program files. Uh, and this will bring up some more folders here. We're looking for the one that says Microsoft Games. Once you've located Microsoft Games, go ahead and uh, right click on it. This will bring up this menu you're looking at here. And we'll want to go ahead and copy this folder. So you can go ahead and just left click on copy. Now we'll want to go to the top left hand here of the window and uh, left click on the back arrow to take us back to the previous set of folders we were looking at. And we'll want to go ahead and open the program files x86 and what we want to do is copy the Windows Games folder into this, this set of folders here. So we'll, how we'll do that is if you move your mouse over to the right until that light blue box disappears, at that point you can hit the right mouse button and then you can just a left click on paste here. It'll copy the Microsoft Games folder into the program files x86 listing. And once we have that uh, completed, you can just go ahead and double left click on uh, Microsoft Games here. And this will pull up uh, all the Microsoft Games uh, included uh, that you'll need to work with. So the first thing we'll start at the bottom here with Spider Solitaire. So go ahead and double left click on Spider Solitaire to open up the folder. And now we're looking for the executable file. Uh, you can see it says ac application. Uh, so the application file. Uh, once you locate this you can just go ahead and right click on this file. And then we'll want to go down to properties. Left click on properties. This will bring up the Spider Solitaire properties window. We'll want to, on the second tab, left click on compatibility. Uh, once you've uh, got into the compatibility window, uh, we do want to uh, click this top checkbox here to run this program in compatibility mode 4. Uh, and we want to switch this drop down box to Windows 7. Once you've selected Windows 7, you can go down and click Apply. And once you've clicked Apply, you'll want to go ahead and click OK. This will close the window. And uh, once we close it, uh, we'll want to go ahead and send this to the desktop. And I'll show you why here in a little bit. But uh, So right click on the file again. Mouse over Send To. This will pull up a menu to the right, and we'll want to mouse over Desktop, Create Shortcut, and then left click. You'll see the Spider Solitaire icon pop up on the desktop here. Uh, this is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, once this is done, you can just go ahead and hit the back arrow again, and we'll move on to the next game. Uh, basically, we're just going to repeat the same process over and over until we get through all the games. So we want to go ahead and double left click on Solitaire. And we'll find the application file again. Once we found the application file, you can just go ahead and right click on this file. We'll go back down to Properties, uh, left click on Properties, find the compatibility window, left click on the compatibility window. Uh, we'll click uh, this checkbox here. Uh, in the drop down menu, we'll switch it to Windows 7. 
and then you can go down to apply and then finally OK and then we'll go ahead and right click on the application file again and send it to the desktop. Now we'll go ahead and hit the back arrow again and we'll move on to Purple Place. Uh, not a lot of people play this. Um, it's kind of a kid's game. It's matching colors or something of that nature. Uh, so you can feel free to skip this one if you don't ever use it. Uh, but we will be doing the exact same process here for everyone. Uh, so I'll just uh, let the video run here and uh, you can see what's going on. Now, once we get to chess, chess, for some reason, is the only game not affected. So you don't need to mess with the properties. You can just send this directly to the desktop. And then once you have it in the desktop, we'll go ahead and, and uh, close this window here. Uh, we're done moving files. Uh, and what we we'll want to do is just right click in a blank spot on your desktop and go down to new. Uh, once you mouse over new, it'll bring this uh, this window up here to the right and we'll want to just left click on folder. Uh, now that we have a new folder here we will want to, you can name it whatever you want but I would obviously suggest just games. Uh, so just take out whatever's in there, type in games, uh, hit the enter key and what we'll want to do is just drag and drop all of the game links into this folder and you just left click on them and just drag them until they're over this folder and it will put them in this folder automatically. Once you have all the games in here, this will be the only place you can actually run the games that will work. Uh, some of the links in the start menu or in other places are still pointed at the old folder, uh, the one that we before we copied it, so that they will still have the error message. So if you do play the games, you will need to access them from your games folder. Uh, as you can see, they run perfectly fine now. I am running this on a uh, home 64-bit machine. Um, I didn't have the issue, but uh, a lot of them do. So I hope this video helped. And if you run into any issues, uh, we're certainly always available from uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Uh, we can be reached at uh, 855 Blair TG. Again, that's uh, 855 Blair TG. This will conclude the video, and uh, have yourself a great day.